Today, we're going to take a look at the credit title pack from Web Templates and how you can use it to make professional credit rules for the end of your films. To start off any credit sequence, you usually just like to have a title credit. Let's drag this down onto our timeline and open the inspector to access all the controls. If we hit play, the credit text is just going to slowly move up the screen. In the inspector, we can change the position that the credit text is actually at, which we want this one to be centered. Below that, we can change the text itself as well as the size, font, color, and all of that. If needed, we can add in a drop shadow. And finally, we have the credit controls. This allows us to choose the direction that the credit actually moves, as well as the roll speed. Whatever you set the speed to, you just want to remember it for the future titles. The last thing we need to do is grab the end of this title and drag it out until the text is off the screen. Next, let's add in a credit divider and drag this right above the first credit. Under credit controls, we want to make sure this roll speed is the same as it was in our first credit. Then, on the timeline, we can just shift this left to right to change where it actually appears. Then grab the end and drag it until the line is off the screen. Now, in the inspector, we can move it back and forth, we can change the width of the line, we can change the thickness of it, as well as the color down below. Once we finish that, let's move on to the first line of credits. I'm going to grab this two style centered credit and drag this above our divider. Then I'll shift this back and forth until the spacing looks good. And in the inspector, I have text boxes for column one and column two. I asked ChatGPT to make up a bunch of roles as well as names to go along with them. So if I open my Excel sheet, I have all of the roles as well as the names off on the right. This tool makes it really easy. If I grab all of the names in column A, I can just hit copy on my keyboard switch over to DaVinci Resolve and paste those into column one. Then I'll grab column B, copy the names and paste those into column two. Now, when we start to come through, you can see all of those names are lined up perfectly. We definitely need to make this clip a little bit longer. So we'll just drag it until all of that goes off the screen. In the inspector, under each of these columns, we can change the font as well as color, and below that we have the global text controls. With this one, I'm able to change the size of the text itself, as well as the letter spacing and line spacing. The two style credit allows us to have a different style for the titles than the names. Let's give it this nice italic look. The pack has up to four columns with this two style design. Now sometimes you have big departments, like the visual effects department here. In DaVinci Resolve, if I hold down Alt while clicking on this basic credit, I'm going to drag it up to the top, which is going to create a copy. We're going to move this to the right until it is below all of those names. In this basic credit, we're going to switch this to visual effects. Then instead of putting all those names in one column, we're going to grab this four column credit. Now what we need to do is paste all those names into these columns. In this case, we're going to do four columns of six names. So I'll grab the first six names, paste those into column one, Grab the next six names and paste those into column two. Then I'll just do that for the next two columns. Once that's done, in the first column, I can change the style for this block of text, as well as stuff like the size, the tracking, and the line spacing. Then just like before, just make sure that this clip is long enough so that way the titles go all the way off the screen. In my made up film, I had 50 extras, including Robin Williams, according to ChatGPT. For this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold down Alt and duplicate basic credits, and then replace visual effects with extras. Then I'm gonna use the five column credit and drag this up above that. Then in this five column one, I'm just gonna match the style of the four column credit that we set up before. In this case, I might even make it a little bit smaller just since there's so many names. But just like that, just by copying and pasting, we've created a really good looking credit sequence and everything is gonna move at exactly the same rate. A lot of times at the end of films, you see a bunch of images like the production companies or the products used. So let's add that in. In my media pool, I have three logos. The first one I'm gonna grab is this whip templates. And since you have a lot of titles, I'm actually gonna start putting these down at the bottom since you'll still be able to see it, no problem. First, what I wanna do is scale this logo down until it is an appropriate size. Then in the effects library under effects, I'm going to grab this credit logo and drag that right onto the logo. Just like that, the logo is going to be moving at the same speed as all the text. So let's make this a little bit longer. That way it goes all the way off the screen and shift it up so it's closer to the text. Since we want to put multiple logos on here, let's just drag the position over and put it at say 0.25. Then I'm going to grab my next logo and just put it at the same position, bring the size down so it matches and drop on the credit logo effect. And now we have some images at the end of our credits. You can either buy credit titles by itself on my website or part of the editor titles bundle, which contains 180 titles. Learn more at the link down below. And if you have any questions, let me know.